Hello friends, I've got quite a treat for you today. These are the Boston Acoustics Media Theater speakers. And as you can see, this box has not been opened. Oh, someone, a little bit of artwork there. These speakers have not seen the light of day since they were manufactured probably sometime in the late 90s. And uh, anyone that knows anything about me knows that I love new old stock. I feel like this stuff's been waiting around for me to open all this time. Let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the stuff. So we've got all of the original manuals and everything here. Doubt I'll even look at these, but I mean they're kind of neat to have. Still in the original plastic and everything. And you know, one thing about ordering new old stocks off of eBay, and this is where I got this one for about 60 bucks, it's a pretty good deal, is that, you know, everything's going to ship really well. And it's all going to be, of course, boxed up the way that it's meant to be. So it's probably going to be safe. So you got all your cords, uh, little plastic pieces, probably put on the subwoofer here. That's what we see right here on top I suspect is the subwoofer to the system which is kind of uh, known for its uh, subwoofer. I wish I could tell you exactly what the wattage of this I don't quite remember. I do remember that uh, this was one of the most expensive computer speakers that you could buy back in the day, back in the late 90s. Uh, I actually can afford it. Let's get this Japanese guy here. It's always satisfying to unwrap these. Some people really like pulling the, the plastic off of uh, electronics. I also like just unwrapping them. There's something about the fact that it, there's probably air in here from the late 90s. It's been open. That was kind of weird, but I don't think I'm the only one. Plus, you know, it's just going to be you know, pristine, basically, nice and clean. It's a really nice unit. Uh, you're gonna have to make sure you got room under your desk for this. You got the connections back here, a lot of connections, a lot of cords. But the aesthetic is very clearly those Boston speakers of the latest 90s, and I've got other uh, Boston speakers none as uh, none as substantial as, as this one but uh, I've got some 635s and 735s and I'll compare those uh, here shortly so I suspect these are the actual speakers and I don't know if you can get a really good sense of scale here but when compared to uh, the other Boston speakers, actually, these are, again, pretty substantial. Got the legs here. Let's get these speakers out. Power brick. I assume, yeah, these things are, and they're huge. Probably have to kind of take my word for it if you're not that familiar with Boston speakers, but uh, these things are, are big. Let's go ahead and get these speakers unwrapped. Controls on the front there. A 
I mean, it only took me a little over 20 years, but I feel like I've accomplished something by buying these. Even though um, I got, you know, I got them down for like 60 bucks on eBay, it's really good. So there they are, there are the speakers, the subwoofer. Let's get, uh, let's get the legs on there. I always like the Boston stands. You know, the, uh, some newer speakers, even the high-end speakers, you have to buy these separately and put them on there. But Boston always came with these nice stands. They just click into place, really easy to install. Nice and solid, too. Second one on here. The only downside to these stands occasionally they kind of block the way of the cords, but usually there's a workaround there, it's not too bad. Okay, so let's compare these to some other speakers I've got here. Okay, so I got, I grabbed some of my other Boston speakers. Here is the 635, and these are pretty small speakers. Uh, I actually got them in a different setup of mine. They still sound really good, um, but tiny, just tiny compared to these. I mean, it's just really incredible comparing these two. Uh, and I've got, uh, I've got a, uh, this, the uh, 735s here. I think they're 735s. And these are the I you know comparing them to the six thirty five. I always thought these were substantial speakers, but comparing them now to the media theater, uh, you can see that uh, there's a substantial size difference. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about uh, getting these hooked up to the computer. You can kind of see the, the difference in size of the subwoofer as well. Um, so it might just come down how much room you have actually underneath your desk and so forth. So let's hook these up and see how they do. All right, I've got the speakers hooked up to my main computer here. Uh, I've got the subwoofer uh, underneath the desk. And let's go ahead and play I think a couple songs and then I'll do uh, a little bit of gaming. And uh, keep in mind that uh, what I hear and what you hear are gonna be obviously two different things. Um, what I hear is gonna be better, uh, but uh, in fuller, but I hope this gives you some idea of uh, how these speakers sound. Thank you. 
Okay, so there you have it. Um, I'm pretty impressed with these speakers being, you know, probably about 20 years old and they haven't really been fully broken in either. So that's another thing to consider is that uh, they could very well sound better over time. Uh, with that said, uh, I don't know if you can hear this through the video, but there was a little bit of a scratchiness. Uh, I'm not sure what's causing that, but it is not something that I have on uh, my daily driver, which is the Alltech Lansing 340s. And uh, it's very powerful. I could feel the bass uh, blowing air on my leg, actually, as I was uh, playing Doom there. Uh, so that's great, and uh, the sound is pretty full. Uh, I think the highs are pretty good. Not quite as full as those Alltag Lansings, but I think you know if you compare them to a modern speaker system, probably looking at a system that's at least $100, if not more, I'd probably put them on par with a $100 to $150 pair of speakers. I know that these retailed for about $300 uh, back when they were new in the late 90s. Uh, probably, you know, if you adjust for inflation, that's probably closer to $350 today. So um, probably would not pay that much for them. Uh, but there were, I assume, fewer options at that point in time. Uh, I know I was kind of drooling over these and simply could not afford them. I mean, I was a teenager at the time. So uh, it's really neat being able to hook these up and seeing what they can do finally. Uh, I don't think I'll be using them as my primary speakers. Again, those Alltech Lansings are, are kind of hard to beat, but uh, they are nice speakers. They're probably uh, perhaps the best Boston speakers I've, uh, I've heard. So um, it, one thing that I'll uh, kind of point out here is the uh, adjustable knobs here in front you have the power knob all the way over the left and it makes that really nice satisfying clicking noise and not all boston speakers do that i think maybe the 735 745s do at least uh, some of them do uh, but others don't and i just i don't know something about that it makes that nice clicking noise plus you can you know tack it's tactile feeling that power button go on uh, and then you have uh, your, your treble and bass right up here in front and and I like that I like not having to go down underneath the desk or whatever and make those adjustments so that's quite nice as well and of course being Boston speakers as a point out you know it's got these nice feet and helps kind of reduce that vibration that you get and maybe some distortion that would be caused by that so Really quite nice speakers. They might actually get better over time. They are brand new, new old stock. Uh, components also degrade over time. So that's another thing to consider is that there's just 20 year old components here as well. So hopefully you enjoyed that little demonstration. I certainly always enjoy opening a new old stock component. You're the first one to see that, uh, that, that uh, device for you know, sometimes decades, and that's kind of exciting. So it's been kind of waiting there for you to uh, to enjoy it. So thank you very much for watching again, and uh, hope to see you back for the next video.